What's up guys, Andy Bean with Beaner Outdoors and today I am going to do a review on something. I, I was in Roll King the other day and I saw this little tiny pocket combo pole. Um, tiny, my, tiny but mighty I think is the name of it, but it's a little 20 inch telescopic rod. You can put it in your pocket, take it anywhere. I'm going to put it to the test and see how really good it is because yeah, I'm going to put it through the ultimate test. It's got a three pound line, which I'm going to have to be a little easy on, but I'm going to fish it with a rooster tail. And uh, so let's get into it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for the support. Heck, who knows? Maybe we'll even do a catch and cook on this bad boy. So uh, enough chit chat. Let's get out there. So I think where I screwed up is I was using the spinner. It was a little too heavy for this to be able to like reel back. There's only so many inches that it reels every rotation. So I put on a glob of power bait. We're going to see how that works. But I'm not too hopeful with this pole. It, I mean, you may be able to catch bluegills with it. We'll try it on that. I do not have high hopes for this. It will, it will catch fish. So I, I didn't have high hopes. I do not have high hopes for this. But this little tiny pole right here will catch decent fish. It may take you a little bit. I wouldn't put on a spinner, but it will catch fish. So let's get in the kitchen. Alrighty, so we're back here in the kitchen. Six ingredients is all I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna have some pecans. Old Smoky for making the sauce, and then your simple oil, salt and pepper, and then a little bit of butter for frying the fish, but also making your sauce as well. So let's get right into it. All right, so you're gonna put your oil in the pan, one tablespoon of butter. The rest of your uh, butter, you're gonna save it for the end for the sauce. While that waits, we're gonna put some salt and pepper. We're gonna put some salt and pepper on the fillets. All right, so we got our butter melted. The reason you wanna add that oil is because you don't want your butter to burn. But all we're gonna do is just cook these like you normally would. Just put your fish right in there. All right, so right when you start seeing them turn that color, you can see around the edges there and right there, it's time to flip it. All right, so once you got your trout fillets done, I've got my oven just on warm. You're gonna go ahead and take these off. They're about 80% cooked. They're not completely done all the way. You don't want them to completely get done because when you cook your fish all the way done, that's how you get that fishy flavor. So they're about 80% done. I'm gonna put them in the oven. They're still cooking right now. When I do that, uh, they're gonna continue to cook on their own. They're gonna be just right. So, we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven, add the rest of your butter. Once you got that butter completely melted down, you can see it's still got the yellow, there's no burning or anything. You're just going to take your pecan pieces and just add them in here. You're going to cook the whole bottom of your pan. I'm using a 14 inch pan. Cook them down for about three minutes and then the next step, I'll show you right here. All right, in that three minutes, what these are gonna do is soften up. 
but it's gonna they're gonna also kind of caramelize themselves you can see they're starting to brown up all you're gonna do add your old smoky whiskey i use the salty caramel because or caramel however you want to say it because it it it's just really good. It's a really good sweet. So you're going to add it. A lot of people are like, oh, you're going to make it taste like alcohol. No. Cooking, the reason people cook with alcohol is because the alcohol burns off. But you want to consistently keep stirring it. Because all that steam, that's, that's the alcohol vapor that you see. So you're going to turn your stove down to low. Because you don't want it to burn. Because it's going to thicken up really good. Alright, so we're going to add our fish. And I'm just putting it right on top of some uh, basmati rice. I think I said that right. The next thing we're going to do, just add this on top. And... Next for the taste test. Alrighty, right there it is. So you're gonna get a little bit of that rice, a little bit of pecans and the fish. You got that sweetness to the fish. It's really good. Traps a little bit more fish here than usual. Um, but that's because I didn't put anything on it. Trout's about a mild to more mild, heavier mild fish, but very good. Here's another recipe, but if you like this, I'm going to have several more videos this summer. But like, comment, and subscribe down below if you like this. And thanks for all the support. I appreciate it so much. But, uh. Hope y'all are having a good summer. Staying warm, actually. Don't get to say that in the summer too often. But until next time, I'm Andy Bean with Bean Row Outdoors. And uh, y'all get out there.